Hey everybody, it's Callum and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we made it here to the Kara Kara Bazaar and obtained a new set of armor. The Gerudo Veil Top and Sir Cyril? I have no idea how to pronounce that because it is a foreign word to me. This time, we're going to be going into the Gerudo Town, which we luckily have a fast travel to via a shrine that is right outside. And one quick thing I forgot to mention, just in case you all forgot. We're going to be heading to that sandstorm eventually, and conquering our final divine beast, Va Naboris. But first, if you were wearing any other armor, you would not be able to walk, uh, you would not be able to walk into this town. But since we are dressed up like a Gerudo female, we are home free. Let me get a nice new main quest complete. And just in case you ever accidentally sold your things, you can get spare ones here just to have, you know, while... <laughs> I don't know, you can have a spare with you just in case you think, oh, I, I want to sell the one that I got given. I don't know. Just a thought. Just a small little thought. Now there is something I want to do before going on to the main quest. Um, but it's it's if I can remember. Here we have what's the secret password? I believe it's E R C Diamond. God damn it! It's the wrong password. That initiates a side quest in which we must find the password to get in there. All you get when you go in there is um, two sets of armor, which are, well, they both have their own unique capabilities. But let's head right over here and meet with... Riju, the Gerudo Chief. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Uh, depends where you're looking, love, because, you know, we have a few interesting things. You stand before Lady Riju, Chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Belair. What? Buliara? Buliara? This one appears to be uh, more than a common traveler. You there, what's your name? <gasps> Here, let me talk in my manly voice. Link? And what is it you've come all this way here to tell me, Link? I am a dude. Huh? You think you have what it takes to subdue something as powerful as the Divine Beast? The only ones who could ever control them were the champions, like Lady Urbosa. And all of the champions died in the Calamity 100 years ago. This Gerudo female has quite a masculine voice. Mm. Hmm... Buiara, a memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the calamity happened, the princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link. Though it also, well, uh, though it always seemed more legend than fact. What if this device on one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Oh. Wait a moment, you're a Vo. <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime, but a Vo who is a champion? Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa. And if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we are allies. 
<laughs> you saw it on your way into town. Naboris cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at any who dare approach. We have to do something to stop it, but we have to um we have yet to find any way to appease Naboris on our own. <clears throat> If you truly are a champion, perhaps you would be able to enter Naboris and calm its anger. Lady Riju, I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove his worth by recovering your stolen Thunderhelm. Ah yes, an interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Naboris. The Thunderhelm. A family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But, as Buliara says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch, it'll lead you to the barracks. Then, seek out Captain Teak and ask for, full, for a full report. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. You know, I take it I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Arbosa must be looking out for us. Couldn't tell if you were flirting with me because the first thing you saw was my Sheikah Slade, and that's awfully close to a part that is much different than yours, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, let's go to the barracks like we were instructed. And talk to Captain Teak, or TK, or I don't know. Can I call you T? I'm gonna call you T. What are you doing in here? This is the barracks for the Chief's guards, not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. Oh. What? Oh. Buliara sent you? My apologies. I'm officer I'm the officer in charge of our soldiers, Captain T. The chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves be uh, belonging to the Yiga clan the other day, mm. so everyone is on edge. We've determined that the Yiga's hideout is in Carusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was thinking about requesting some extra help. Oh. Hey everyone, listen up. This highly Vi has agreed to help us, so offer her any information oh. you can. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. Cool. Uh, we're, we were already given a location as to where we're supposed to go, so we don't really need to talk to any of these, and we're not really going to. Um, instead, however... Uh, I believe if I go this way... Uh, no, you have a quest for me. Is it you who I need to talk to? That's that. That look, it must be a high, freely, freely. Um. Okay. This is the person who I wanted to see. She is going to give us a sand seal, which is our method of transportation. And it is so cool, if I am honest. So, let's just head up to that Oh, um, I need to unequip that frost spear. Uh, what do I equip instead? Uh, I'll just equip the master sword. Oh, but I need to put on something warm. That works. Okay, we're just gonna head to the marker on our map. And we're heading for enemy camps. That's very dangerous. Okay. Um, we are going the right way. Uh, but this place is so, like, just out there. It's very annoying. Alright. I believe we have to go. And I just gotta keep following the map, I guess. It gets very annoying trying to get to this place. Because our sand seal won't go any further. Uh, am I going to be able to ride you again? Or. Come on. Can, can I not? 
Oh, okay. There we go. Let's go around this way. <laughs> Just so you don't freak out. Also, one thing I didn't notice, uh, or I didn't actually know in general, until literally today, you can disable your Divine Beast powers. So, like, look, I, I can disable Daruk's protection. I no longer have it. You know? That's actually really cool, but it's not what we're here to do. I believe... Yes, this is the right way. Okay. So, keep heading this way. Come on. Right. I have just realized that I have made such a grave mistake. Um, this next area I would highly, highly recommend purchasing the um, Sheikah outfit. Just so you're camouflaged and, you know, your stealth's increased for the segment. That is something... Ooh. I am sorry, buddy. Jesus. Anyway, we don't need you anymore. So we're instead going to fly up. And then, I do want to put on some more warm armor. But... Yeah, we're very close to our current objective. I went the complete wrong way, I know, but that's why we have multiple Ravali Gales. And that did nothing. Hello, friend! This is a Yiga Clan member! I don't know why they. Well, I mean, I'm right next to their base and I just lost 20 rupees. Great. But this is the place you need to go. This is... When it says on the sign. No, that's not a sign. Never mind. I thought it was like a sign that just... These are Yika clan symbols. And this is actually a way I've never been before, so... You know, fighting these Yika clan members are... Well, it's quite new to me. Because I've never really fought them before going in. Which is impressive. But of course, I've beaten the whole game. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of used to fighting the Giga Clan members already. Anyway, heading in through here. I would honestly recommend having the Sheikah armor, but we don't, so. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, there's another torch there, but we don't need that. Because we got our own. Oh, and there's also a duplex bow. Which we cannot carry. It's not too important anyway. Now, we can burn down... We can burn these down anyway, and... There's just a load of stuff in them. Pretty much. You know, you get some sapphires, I believe you... There's a chance to get weapons. I'm not too terribly sure about that. And can we... Yes, we can take it down with an arrow. Okay. I believe... Yeah, okay. There are enemies in some of them. Be a little bit wary of that. Uh, I'm on the wrong thing. I don't want to take you out with my master sword. Uh... Actually, yes, I do. Screw it. It's the only one-handed sword I have right now. Whoa. Okay. So, down goes that keys, and I don't... Yeah, okay. The caves with enemies in them don't have treasure chests, so, you know. You can kind of watch and look at what caves have what in them as I'm going through, but... Yeah. So now we're going to aim back there. Aim up there. Again, more keys. But a way forward has been unlocked. So yeah, you do need to do that. And I'm still quite annoyed because I don't have any one-handed weapons. My prayers have been answered. Oh my god. Uh, but what do I get rid of? 
Oh, what am I on about? Thunderblades are one-handed weapons. Duh. Ooh, but that vicious sickle is a very good item. No, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> I just saw that it was like a, a stat down from what I currently hold. Anyway, one more item and then we can progress. Purple rupee. Not, not, not too bad. And now, story progression. The Yiga Clan Hideout. Probably my most hated place in this whole game. Take these mighty bananas. You're gonna need them. Hey, what are you doing here? This is the hideout of those Yiga thieves who stole the Thunderhelm. If they spot you, they'll call for their friends, for sure. There's no way you can take them all on. If only you had some way of distracting them, but I don't know how. All I ever see them do on patrol is... Oh, all I see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you can. I can take care of myself. No can do, lady. But we will take on the Yiga Clan hideout next time. So, I will see you all then. Goodbye.